Officials say employment has been one of the major approaches in the plan to eradicate absolute poverty. Official data released by the State Council show the number of impoverished migrant workers traveling for work has nearly doubled over the past half decade, from 15 million back in 2015 to 29 million. Employment-based poverty eradication has become a major part in prioritizing employment policy. It's a key approach corresponding to targeted poverty alleviation and eradication. For the 19 million Chinese living in poverty officially recorded, 90 percent of them receive help in the form of job opportunities and other benefits. But Chinese officials told CGTN that employment for poor migrant workers has suffered in the pandemic. We set out the goals of battling the coronavirus outbreak and poverty at the same time. First of all, more than 28 million poor migrant workers now travel for work nationwide. Secondly, better off regions in eastern China should open up to poor migrants at a rate no less than they did last year. In light of the challenges, officials say the central government will continue to hammer home employment-based benefits in four ways. By providing employment opportunities, enhancing job training, improving public employment services, and increasing policy support. They say this showcases China's determination to fully eradicate absolute poverty, even in unprecedented and challenging times. Chen Ziyuan, CGTN, Beijing.